potential greenhouse gas was supposed to be eliminated, but something went wrong. The concrete global treaty to protect our planet atmosphere known as the Montreal Protocol is beginning to show cracks. A few years after the mysterious spike in a known ozone-destroying chemical, another of the protocol's banned substances is also on the rise. Despite global promises to dial down the use of hydrofluorocarbon HFC, a super greenhouse gas with a global warming potential up to 3,000 times that of carbon dioxide, reported reductions do not match the reality. Someone somewhere appears to be fudging these numbers. Quote, when we saw the reports of enormous emissions reductions from India and China, we were excited to take a close look at the atmospheric data. This is what atmospheric chemist Matt Ridby from University of Bristol says. He says, this potent greenhouse gas has been growing rapidly in the atmosphere for decades now, and these reports suggested that the rise should have almost completely stopped in the space of two or three years. Now, except it didn't. In 2018, HFC concentrations actually set an all-time record, despite the fact scientists were expecting a 90% drop in emissions between 2015 and 17. Using atmospheric data from 2015 through 2018, Rigby and his colleagues showed that when reported emissions were at their lowest in 17 years, actual emissions hit their highest at any point in history. More specifically, the HFC 23, known as fluoroform, that has hit new highs, is a bad one, with one ton of gas having the same greenhouse potential as nearly 12,000 tons of carbon dioxide. The exact source of this greenhouse gas is still unknown, but given the magnitude of this mismatch and the fact that China and India are two of the largest emitters, the authors suspect that these two have not been successful in reducing HFC 23 like they claim. HFCs were originally introduced as a substitute for ozone-destroying chemicals in refrigeration and air conditioning products but while their use is a good thing for the ozone, their capacity to act as a potential greenhouse gas has become all too clear. And that's why in 2016 an amendment was added to reduce the climate impact of HFCs. To be compliant with the Kigali Amendment to the Montreal Protocol, countries have ratified the agreement are required to destroy HFC 23 as far as possible. This is according to atmospheric scientists Kieran Stanley from Goethe University in Frankfurt. Although China and India are not yet bound by this amendment, their, report, their reported abatement would have put them on course to be consistent with the Kigali Amendment. Some numbers are clearly slipping through the cracks and officials might not even know. Last year, New York Times report found that violations of FCF 11 emissions were probably coming from China factories that were ignoring the rules in order to save money. But there's another explanation. The authors say they cannot exclude the possibility that China has indeed met its HFC reduction commitment of 98%. In this case, though, there would have to be either a 780% increase from developed countries, a 690% increase from India, or we have not accounted for 4,250% of the reported global production. The magnitude of the CO2 equivalent emission shows just how potent this greenhouse gas is. We hope now to work with other international groups to better quantify India and China's individual emissions using regional rather than global data and models. The study was published in Nature Communications and Science Alert. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. 
more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.